Jesus tells us how to handle people who have wronged us. And he says, yeah, at first the goal is reconciliation, but in the most drastic cases, you're allowed to remove harmful, unrepentant people from your life. You don't have to continue an intimate relationship with someone who continues to hurt, hurt you. It's just that, I mean, the other side of that coin is he says that and then follows it immediately with a parable that essentially teaches in the most drastic cases, you don't have to stay in relationship with the person who hurt you, but you do still have to forgive them. Everything in me wants to give us a pass right now. Everything wants to find a loophole. I was literally squirming in my seat as I was writing this thing. I want so badly to be able to say like, okay, take a breath. Now, there are certain situations where if you've been wronged in a certain way or to a certain degree, then it's understandable and permissible, permissible for you to not forgive that other person. I wanna say that very badly. I can't. Because it's the opposite of what Jesus just taught us. 